subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in IBM Cognos Analytics Administrator V11. So let's get started. Question number 1, an administrator needs to address an environment that is not running optimally and conduct an architecture review. Which performance attributes should be considered? Your options are A. Capacity, Scalability, Availability B. Gateways, Application Servers, Content Manager C. IBM Cognos Implementation, Capacity, Infrastructure D. Infrastructure, Gateways, Application Servers, Scalability The correct answer is, Option C. Number 2 an administrator sees that an environment has a long startup time and wants to remedy the issue. Which solution should be used? Your options are A. Set load balancing to cluster compatible B. Check the fast startup option under IBM Cognos configuration C. Increase the size of the JVM heap by selecting large configuration D. Reduce the size of the content store through archiving and removal the correct answer is, option A. And refer the following for the explanation of the answer. Option number 3, an administrator is evaluating system status, using the scorecard pane on the status system page in the IBM Cognos administration console. Which statement is true? Your options are. A. If a service is disabled in IBM Cognos configuration, it is listed in the scorecard pane. B. The status that is displayed for each entry reflects the lowest status for all child entries. C. A status of available is displayed when at least 80% of the child entries have a status of available. D. A status of unavailable is displayed when at least 80% of the child entries have a status of unavailable. The correct answer is, option B. And refer the following for the explanation of the answer. Chin number 4. An environment has 20 dispatchers. The administrator wants to change one property to the same value for all dispatchers. How can that be accomplished? Your options are A. This can be accomplished if all dispatchers are put inside a folder. B. This can be accomplished by changing the desired property for the configuration. C. This cannot be accomplished unless the property value is changed for each dispatcher. D. This can be accomplished by selecting all dispatchers at once, and changing the desired property. The correct answer is, option A. You can refer the following for the explanation of the answer. Question number 5, an administrator is implementing security by managing and working with the Cognos namespace. Which statement is true? Your options are. A. To gain access to IBM Cognos Analytics, users can log on to the Cognos namespace. B. Create domain users in the Cognos namespace to avoid cluttering the existing authentication provider. C. User-defined groups and roles must be created in a third-party authentication provider, and cannot be created in the Cognos namespace. D. Although the use of the predefined and built-in groups, and roles within the Cognos namespace is optional, the Cognos namespace cannot be deleted. The correct answer is, option D. You can refer the following for the explanation of the answer. Question number 6. An administrator wants to exclude request level logging details from being captured. Which logging level must be set? Your options are A. Basic logging level B. Trace logging level C. Verbose logging level D. Request logging level is turned on by default. The correct answer is, option A. Refer the following for the explanation of the answer. Question number 7. An administrator wants to ensure that a data source can be referenced when creating data modules in the IBM Cognos Analytics portal. What must be done to accomplish this? Your options are A. Add the data source to the list of supported data sources in IBM Cognos configuration. B. Configure the data source in IBM Cognos Transformer so that it can communicate with the portal. C. In the web-based modeling tool itself. Specify the Create Data Modules access permission for the data source. D. On the Connection tab of the data source properties, ensure that the Allow Web-Based Modeling checkbox is selected. 
The correct answer is, option D. And refer the following for the explanation of the answer. Question number 8. An administrator wants to render a report and ensure the completed HTML is sent back to the gateway. Which service is responsible for the rendering task? Your options are A. Report Service B. Delivery Service C. Presentation Service D. Content Manager Service The correct answer is, option C. Question number 9. All users have unrestricted access in a secured environment. What must be modified to control this access? Your options are A. Delete the All Authenticated Users group B. Disable anonymous access using IBM Cognos configuration C. Modify the advanced properties of the authorization namespace D. Remove the Everyone group from the system administrator's role The correct answer is, option B. You can refer the following for the explanation of the answer. Question number 10. The database containing the content store crashed. The administrator needs to restore the content store in its entirely including all of the configuration settings that were defined. What must be done to recover the configuration settings? Your options are A. The configuration settings are automatically included when running the import. B. Manually apply the settings because configuration settings are not a part of the content store deployment. C. Configuration settings are not included in the content store deployment. The parameter must be set to true on the content manager service, prior to running the content store export deployment. D. Configuration settings are included in the content store deployment, but not included in the import unless you set the parameter. The correct answer is, option C. You can refer the following for the explanation of the answer. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.